So there are several factors when considering if you need a standby generator or a portable generator. So let's talk about standby generators first and what, what you get with a standby generator. Theoretically, a standby generator is going to power your entire house, or at least if, if you have a 400 amp service, it's going to at least power one panel, right? So 200 amps, theoretically, it'll power whatever you want in that particular panel. But standby generators require what's called an ATS, it stands for automatic transfer switch. And so what that means is that with the standby generator, the ATS, you don't have to do anything manual. So as soon as you have a power outage, as long as you've kept up with the maintenance on your standby generator, the standby generator is going to kick on all by itself. All right. So that means you don't have to go outside into your garage, turn anything on. It's going to automatically kick on. Right. And that's done with the ATS system, the automatic transfer switch system. With all of that being said, an automatic uh, automatic transfer switch with a standby generator, it's going to be exponentially more in cost than if you went with the portable route. So it all depends on you know what you want, what kind of load you are carrying. So what all circuits do you want powered powered? And that's going to de determine whether you need a portable or a standby generator. And really if your budget allows for that kind of system. If you don't have the budget for an ATS system with a standby generator, or if you just, just don't want it or don't need that kind of power, you can always go with a portable generator. And portable generators come in different sizes. You can have anything from 3,500 watts up to 12,500 watts, which is equivalent to like a 50 amp breaker, right? So you have about 50 amps to work with if you went with a larger portable generator. So a portable generator is going to cost a lot less for the generator itself and the setup versus a standby generator with an ATS. And so if you're just wanting to power essentials such as like a fridge and you wanna, or, or your freezer, if you wanna run a microwave, several different 120 circuits, like some receptacles, some lights, if that's all you're wanting, I would recommend going with the portable generator. That's gonna meet all your needs. And typically if you get a bigger sized portable generator, so let's just say, you know, a 12,500 watt generator, 50 amp breaker on it. You can typically run most of your 120 circuits and a 220 circuit. It depends what 220 circuit it is. Like you can run um, a lot of your 120 stuff and a 220 circuit, like a dryer, or you could run um, an AC unit depending on how big that is, right? So overall, it's just really about what you want, what kind of what kind of load you're wanting, if, if the budget allows uh, for a standby uh, generator and ATS. But if you're just wanting something to power essentials just to get you through, you know, the outage, uh, the portable generator is probably the route that you wanna go.